Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel, James here as ever for today's video all about how do you complete your ACCA Oxford Brooks BSc degree. In today's video I'm going to walk and talk you through with a few lecture slides all the ins and outs that you need to be aware of and to check if you actually qualify for the degree itself. If this is the first time you've ever visited my channel before, hello, my name is James. I'm an ACCA qualified member from the UK and on my channel I help out accounting students, professionals, ACCA members and students with my insights and experience and I post them on the channel and I always dedicate all my videos to my lovely subscribers. And today is no different because as you can see down here, we have uh, Jethender as well. Thank you Jethender for your lovely comment and if you've got any comments like Jethender about the video or any requests for others, leave me a comment below because as you can see here, Jethender's put, can I get a BSc degree after completing my F9 paper? So that's the financial management paper in ACCA. Well, Jethender, I'm gonna walk and talk you through all of the logistics. I'm gonna answer your question in the video, so make sure you stay to the end. I'm gonna walk and talk you through all the different aspects. So if you want access to all my free videos on the channel with all my insights, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any future uploads that could help your accounting or ACCA journey. If you do find the video helpful, which I really hope you do, make sure you give it a massive like and thumbs up as ever. Thank you so, 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 so much for all the support to the channel. I really appreciate it. And feel free to share the slides and the video with any study buddies or friends because you know those little bits of insights can really help them out. So without any further ado, let's hop onto the main screen and I'm gonna walk and talk you through. So pen and paper at the ready. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so before we go into the real details as to are you eligible to actually apply for the Oxford Brooks undergraduate degree, you first got to understand how it actually works in tandem with your ACCA studies, because this could be the first stumbling block. You can also see on the screen the actual resource link, which I've put in the description of this video, so feel free to check that out as well to help you out. But the first one is that you have to complete your nine applied knowledge and applied skills exams before you can actually complete your Oxford Brooks degree. So this is from F1 to F9, so from the business technology paper all the way up to financial management. And you have to be careful with some of the exemptions which we'll be coming on to later in the video. Also on top of that, you're gonna to have to also complete the ACCA Ethics and Professional Skills module, which actually isn't such a bad thing because the research and data shows us ACCA students who complete this module before doing SBR, SBL, and their actual option papers have a higher percentage chance of actually passing that exam because Ethics and Professional Skills are actually allocated marks in it. So this is where you would then complete your research and analysis project um, submission and for the project on there. If you haven't watched the other videos on my channel about that, or I go into a bit more detail what it actually is, feel free to check it out after this video. I'll put a link to it at the end. Because at the end of the day, it all comes down to, can you actually apply for the applied accounting undergraduate degree and are you eligible? So this is what you will need to check on here. First of all, have you passed all three applied skills examinations? And again, if you want to stop the video now and then you can check it onto it later, but this is financial reporting, audit and assurance and financial management. All of these will need to be actually passed first of all, along with some of the other F papers. Then you've got to say, have you passed or gained exemptions from any of the other six papers from the knowledge and skills level? Note that actual conditional exemptions do not qualify you to submit the RAP. So this is where if you actually have achieved some exemptions in your actual other degree, for example, to gain exemptions from ACCA exams, this will mean that you are not eligible to complete the Oxford Brooks BSc Honours degree, such as like myself. Have you completed any of the actual ethics and professional skills module? So this is where they recently updated the professional skills module. So if you've actually completed it before, brilliant, that's okay. You will qualify for it. You must also be up to date with the payment of your actual ACCA subscription fees. So if you haven't actually done that, you won't be eligible to apply and you won't be accepted by Oxford Brooks. If you need to update that, if you log on to your My ACCA account, you can get that done nice and easy and set up a direct debit. 
This is another key thing on here as to say, well, are you going to be eligible or not? So in order to actually pass your research analysis project, you have to do this within 10 years of the earliest, okay, so the earliest point on here, the date of your first ACCA examination pass or the date of your first ACCA exemption being granted. The other option is from the earliest of passing three ACCA examinations, so that's your applied skills or strategic professional ones, within five years of submitting your RAP. And finally, being a fully qualified member of ACCA in good standing is that having everything on your CPD up to, actually up to date, in other words, if you've actually finished and qualified from your ACCA, you've then got to check to see if you're within the time limit of the earliest of these three potential options. So in other words from this, no matter if you're first starting off in your actual accounting ACCA journey or you're already qualified, there still could be the option to actually complete your Oxford Brooks BSc undergraduate degree. What I would do if I was in your position and you want to check these dates off, if you get in contact with ACCA, all of the details are in the resources below. You can actually find out when the cutoff is for you to actually apply and to submit your request to actually do the research and analysis project. They'll be able to tell you if you are eligible or not. So maybe put that down as an action point after this video. So what if you've actually already completed a degree? So this is the route that I'd already gone down and you have already gained exemptions. So this is really key if you're a graduate from a UK or any global university that provide ACCA exemptions. So if you are a student that holds exemptions for ACCA applied skill examinations, so that's financial reporting, audit and assurance, financial management, this is really key that you can forfeit these in order to be eligible to complete the Oxford Brooks degree. But once you've actually forfeited your exemption for uh, FR, audit and assurance, financial management, you cannot then reverse that decision. So if you wish to do this, obviously, please contact ACCA. I, as you know on the channel, had some exemptions like this. I'd already got an undergraduate degree, so I didn't want to reverse them to then have to go do the actual um, degree and examination again. So if you are a member who has gained exemptions from financial reporting, audit and assurance and financial management, then you are not eligible to do the BSc in Applied Accounting. The only way, as we can see on here, to actually do it, if you were really keen to do the undergraduate degree, you'd have to reverse those exemptions, redo the exam, and then you could reapply to actually complete your RAP, as you can see on here. So what is the actual mentor within the actual Oxford Brooks undergraduate degree? So if you're going to actually submit the research project, you're required to actually work with a registered mentor who guides you through the actual process. And the key thing to get noted down here is some operate for free and some of them actually charge. But as an expectation, as a minimum, you would actually meet with your mentor at least three times for at least 30 minutes. I've read online that some mentors take a lot longer, they'll do more meetings, but this is for you to actually agree upon and to actually state at the start, you know, what are the actual expectations that if you're going to be my mentor, how much are you going to pay you? And then what are, what are the number of meetings before I submit my project? Because they will also be actually viewing your project. So at the final meeting, you will deliver the presentation, summarizing your research findings from that project. And this is one of the actual determining factors if you are going to pass your undergraduate degree or not. To be a registered member, you actually uh, mentor. Sorry, you have to be a fully qualified ACCA member, like myself, uh, a tutor at an ACCA learning provider, your line manager, or a senior colleague at work. So, picking out who you want to be your mentor on there. You can also head over to Oxford Brooks's website. It gives you a breakdown of all the mentors around the world that are registered and qualified and have been through all the training. I'm currently not a registered member. I don't know if you think I should maybe do it. I'm sure it'd be quite good fun. Maybe leave me a comment at the bottom if you think I should. But uh, yes, feel free to check it out on there. And if you get a good mentor, they'll really help you get the most out of the undergraduate degree. And then that is the main point of it. Now, we talked about who to contact, who to verify, going through the process if you are actually eligible to actually apply for Oxford Brooks. So these are the key details on here, especially with the cutoff on dates that I'd be using if I was in your position. 
So if you think you are actually eligible, there are all the contact details for Oxford Brooks, along with finding the mentors, the breakdown of the undergraduate degree, and as well, I'll put them in the description below so you can click them nice and easy. And if you've got any queries with ACCA, you're not sure about the sort of exemptions, the cutoff, if you're actually eligible to actually apply to do this, maybe you're already a qualified member and you think, is it too late? Well, that's the website on there, along with the screenshots that I'd be looking at and actually how to get in contact with ACCA to verify it and to confirm if I'm eligible or not. Because honestly, I think it's a really good undergraduate degree to go to, especially if you haven't got one already. Well, I hope you found the video helpful today. Be sure to subscribe and hit the button below and give the video a massive like and thumbs up so more accounting and ACCA students can see this video. Also, make sure you check out one of the videos on screen, highly recommended with the next video. They're definitely gonna help and could provide you with that little insight to pass your next exam or to help you out with your Oxford Brooks degree. But best of luck with it. And as always on that bombshell, I'll see you next time. Cheers.